Payroll delays at St. Augustine's University prevented employees from being paid today. It is the second time staff members missed paychecks. The university wasn't able to pay them on February 23rd, and the delays come as St. Aug struggles to keep its accreditation status. WRL's Aaron Thomas spent the evening speaking with people affected by this, and Aaron, alumni are now pitching in to help. That is correct, uh, Chris. Uh, listen, uh, we are still waiting tonight to hear from university leaders about how soon these employees can expect their paychecks. In the meantime, you have people with the Raleigh Wake alumni chapter that are asking for donations to save this beloved institution. More bad news for employees at St. Augustine's University. The interim president says they will not be paid on time again. A student who spoke with me off camera tells me she's anxious after missing two payments for her work study program. Four weeks. Uh, miss payroll. So we miss one. This will be the second. Earlier this week, WREL sat down one on one with St. Ox interim president. Marcus Burgess says employees haven't been paid in nearly a month. The HBCU working to pay off a mountain of debt. Um, in light of the IRS, I would say we probably. Uh, but over 20 million. St. Aug leaders hoping donors can help with operations. The university has launched the Falcon Pride Initiative Fund. There's a fundraising goal of $5 million to prove the university is financially stable. At last check, more than $222,000 has been raised. The Raleigh Wake alumni chapter encouraging one another to donate $100 for SAU. In Monday's interview, Burgess shared his gratitude for contributions as St. Augustine's works to restore a healthy financial status. We have uh, a lot of supporters out there. Um, the CEO of Goodwill in the area is providing um, $10,000 in the way of food line gift cards. So we're working on that. Uh, again, uh, we've had other communities to come and bring uh, gas cards. So we're so thankful. I mean, we're blessed. Now, in addition to these financial issues, this university is also struggling to keep its accreditation status. Uh, the president you just heard there says that he will seek arbitration and will help buy this university an additional 90 days of that accreditation status. Chris? And certainly putting a lot of students and staff in a tough position. Aaron Thomas live in Raleigh. Thank you, Aaron.